I'm going to therapy. You guys going to therapy out there? Mental and dental. No, not a big therapy. In New York, too. Boy, I love it. I can do it for you. If you guys wanted to go, maybe you can't afford it. I can do it for you. I, don't, I didn't go to college or anything, but I know how to do therapy. I've been going long enough. Whatever you're dealing with, it's because of your family. Look no further than your own family. That's all therapy is. You complain about your problems, and they says, it's your family. And then you're like, still, great. Then you give them your money, and then you leave. At first, I was skeptical. I was like, I don't know. And then I spent 11 seconds with my family, and I was like, he nailed it. These are the worst people I've ever met in my life. I don't know how I didn't see this earlier. My Aunt Betty, she's a big source of my anxiety. I don't know if you guys know her at all. Um, she was a babysitter, late 80s, early 90s. I have anxiety, that's like my big issue. I think, I know when my anxiety began. I think it was because of my Aunt Betty. When I was eight years old, this is a true story. My Aunt Betty said this to me. She said, Joe, my biggest fear. She told me her biggest fear. I didn't ask her what her biggest fear was because I was eight years old. I did not give a shit about her fears, but she told me anyway. She said, my biggest fear is that when I go to the bathroom, there'll be a man hiding behind the shower curtain waiting to get me. And I was like, well, that's my biggest fear now, also. Previously, my biggest fear had been wetting my pants, but that's now the solution to avoiding my new biggest fear, entering the bathroom at my parents' house. My parents are like, what do you want for your ninth birthday? I'm like, how about a urinal in my bedroom? And maybe a firearm and a new babysitter, the big three. That was my big fear when I was a kid, wetting my pants. If you get like frightened of anything or scared, which I was scared of everything, if you get frightened by something, you can just urinate right in your pants. And then your life is ruined. That's a weird mind-body connection I never understood. Like your brain is like, I'm terrified. And then your bladder's like, we'll go ahead and piss then. And then your brain's like, that didn't help at all. And your bladder's like, that's all we know how to do. We just want to let you know we were helping. I don't... And then your colon's like, we're ready to rock also if you want us to fire something off. That's what we'll get. Fortunately, my Aunt Betty was never attacked by a man behind the shower curtain, which is good. I mean, it can still happen. She's still alive. It probably won't. She lives with her parents. They have a security system set up. And she's always lived with her parents. She's never moved out. She's never been married. She had the wrong worst fear. Um... <laughs> She should have been praying for a man behind that shower curtain. She might have been able to scooch on out of that house, but... That joke got mean, evidently, but she's an asshole in real life. Don't worry about it. You guys really took her side. That hurt my feelings, goddammit. What about my feelings? I'll tell you what's good about therapy. You get a diagnosis. You find out what's going on, like what's wrong, you know? Like we're all fucked up, you know? When you go to therapy, you get a diagnosis. Like I have OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, which is fun. I like to say I have it. Some people word it differently. Some people will say this, I am OCD. You ever meet those people? They're like, I gotta go wash my hands. I'm OCD. That triggers my OCD. Cause I'm like, you're not saying it properly. I guess it sounds normal. Cause you hear it, so it sounds normal. But watch me replace it with something else. I gotta go wash my hands. I'm genital herpes. See how that? Like, I'm sorry, you have genital? No, no, I am genital herpes. It's who I am. Call me Jen for short. It's very serious. I'm trying to relax more. It's hard. I got into Buddhism. I'm like a Buddhist, sort of. I read a Buddhist book, you know. It wasn't a book. It was a meme, if I'm being honest with you guys. But I like to say book. You sound smarter when you say you read a book. But memes are more, they're preferable. They're more succinct, you know. This is what it said. It had a good quote. It said, let negative thoughts come into your head, but don't serve them tea. Hmm? <laughs> Because you don't want your negative thoughts lingering around drinking tea. That's like the analogy, I guess. My negative thoughts aren't drinking tea. Mine are doing cocaine. That's a better analogy. My negative thoughts are like, climate change is going to make the world uninhabitable. Tomorrow! Like, oh, fuck. Jesus. I read this. Human beings have up to 70,000 thoughts a day. Did you guys know that? I thought it was like nine. I had no idea. 70,000 is too many. I don't think I have 70,000 thoughts a day. I feel like I have four thoughts a day. They just repeat 70,000 times. <laughs> my four thoughts are, my parents gonna die, I'm horny, is that cancer, is this funny? Those are the only four <laughs> thoughts I ever have in my life. 